Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have got uh, the global celebration info here. Um, this looks like, this is going to be kind of like not really the craziest celebration. Um, the good news is that Global did just get the massive power level update. So, I mean, there are some fun things with that. Actually, um, isn't there, I, I probably could talk about... Yeah, there's also this. There's essentially kind of like three different campaign things going on. We, we could talk about the power level bonus campaign as well. I probably I probably should have talked about this this morning. Um, but with this, uh, you know, they, they updated power level a little bit. Um, they also added in the power level bonuses. So you can get extra tries on certain daily, like, restricted stages, such as the Master Roshi growth event, um, red zone stages, um, Supreme Battle Spectacle, when that comes during the anniversary, right? You get extra attempts on these things. Um, so, I mean, this is uh, Global as the Guru event up until April. <laughs> April. This is crazy. I know people don't like link leveling, and I think it's fair. Um, take the characters you want link leveled into this. I mean, keep in mind that the ninth anniversary, I'm not super sorted on how every character falls after some of the new stages in the ninth anniversary but you know some of your top characters you are going to want to um link level you know use this guru event to get your characters ready to go P probably to beat maybe the extreme class mission for Sal max maybe you'd want to prepare characters links for that um the super boss's mission maybe for um blue gogeta the I don't. I can't even say it. The artificial life form mission for Beast. You know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, let, let me just say this. Um, items uh, don't guarantee victory against that Beast. Like you are. Like if you have Gamma One or Gamma Two, like you're gonna want them for level ten links. Um, you know, you're maybe LR baby. Um, you know, LR int cell. I, I would urge you guys to maybe use this to get your maybe artificial life form characters ready because I, I mean using items and support memory and the best artificial life form characters you've got it's it's gonna take dozens of attempts probably I, i'm it, i'm it's it's the hardest mission dokkan's ever done so that's that's a good way to utilize this right uh so you can do that there's uh extra exp five times boost this is for the weekend right this is until the the first of april jesus these are up until the 1st of April as well. Just a lot of, like, big celebration stuff that Global's getting. Okay, okay. Basically all through the month of March. Um, typically, uh, this celebration right here, this, you know, the Kid Gohan and Piccolo celebration, this is the JP celebration at the start of November, which is typically the worst of the year. My theory is that, you know, they put very little into the celebration, and then they put extra time into working on anniversary, creating events, making animations better, st stuff like that. that. That's what I think. Like, it's like, you know, when we get, like, a character with shitty animations, that's because a lot of the extra effort was put elsewhere. That's always the way to look at it, right? So, let's see what we got here. The new Dokkan Fest, Gohan and Piccolo are coming. Uh, they're like, I... Okay, here, let's get there. All right, so missions, login bonus, and then we get to their banner. Oh, I should pull up their banner. I If their banner is exactly the same, I think that this is probably in running for worst banner ever. I think it's, it's right there. It's banners like this, why I'm always going to disagree, and I'll always tell you guys wrong. When people say... Like, don't tell people how to summon, um, you know, like, blah, 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 blah. There's no wrong way to spend stones and shit like that. It's just dead ass wrong. Um, I will always fight that. Like, I'm not gonna, oh, no, you know what? Yeah, you guys, you guys are right. Uh, no, uh, no, no. If you summon on this, uh, there's there's nothing. I Unfortunately, Turles is just not really that good. Um, I mean, maybe Turles could be okay against the Supreme Battle Spectacle Blue Cow and Goku fight. But even then, in there, he gets walloped. Like, I... None of these characters will do anything for you. Uh, like, like none of them. Gohan and Piccolo have no real place on teams because I'm sure, I mean, if you guys are, uh, you know, a global player who's a longtime player, chances are good that you have LR Evolution Blue Vegeta or LR UI Goku presumably maybe with dupes because, you know, they're always on, you know, these Dokkan Fest LR banners for years in a row. So, I, I mean, I, I those characters replace the role that this Gohan and Piccolo have as like a, a good revive. 
I, I just so see no reason to use Gohan and Piccolo anywhere. This banner doesn't have a top tier character on it. I, I think Vegeta and Nappa are solid, but they don't, even on GP, which is a couple of months ahead, they, they don't have a place, right? It's not like, you know, there is a global first uh, couple of characters, though, but those characters don't have anything to do with Vegeta and Nappa. It's not like Vegeta and Nappa are on Rose's team, right? That That's not the case. So, like, this unit is kind of just in limbo. I think they're okay, but they're kind of in limbo. Uh, Yamcha could be okay because he is a dodge character. That means he can survive the toughest bosses, but at the same time, it's only 50%. So, if he doesn't dodge, you just instantly lose. And then, obviously, these characters are just completely aged out. Like, this Spanner has nothing. This is why, no matter what, I will, I will battle you guys until the end of the time. I don't care. You could say, oh, don't tell people to spend your stones. And I'll say, you're wrong. I don't care. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Nope. If you are the world's greatest Piccolo fan, and it'll make you super happy to get him, sure. In that instant, summon. But unless that's the one specific thing. Like, I feel like people will people say that. But then, like, they do. Well, actually, every character is my favorite character. I'm summoning on every banner. That's That's how you get frustrated with this game. And that's why people will say, oh my god, it's impossible to get anything. I'm, I'm going to play the private server, right? Like, it's, that, it leads down that path. Uh, you want to save your stones for good banners. Not something like this, where every character is a loser. You can have the greatest multi of all time, Triple Gohan and Piccolo. And it doesn't even really help you very much in content moving forward. That's the point. They're not doing anything. If maybe there was some villain who would be crucial to these very difficult villain missions coming for global on ninth anniversary but that doesn't exist here you'd be much better like if you're dying to summon we're gonna have a global and jp same time character in two weeks same day i guess it's closer to three well it's two and a half weeks whatever but same day right here is the next still confess this is the next banner after this for global right so all right so there's that uh, yeah, oh yeah, and then, uh, yeah, I guess I talked about them, that's fine. Okay, then we have, uh, packs, stones, bond and master and disciple, category summon, okay, some Elder Kai's, uh, they always do this with the extra medals. This is nice now, too, because you also can have the power level bonus, so you can get extra drops from the power level bonus, which is very good. Uh, we have the Dokkan event for Gohan and Piccolo, cool. Uh, Hercule Big Bucks challenge, um... There's going to be extras. Any, what, what, are they just making the weekend version up every day? Is that what this is going to be? I think so. Uh, Battlefield, sure. Super Battle Road Stage. Nappa Chain Battle. I believe there's two chain battles left for Global. I believe. Nappa and Harutagarn. Let's quickly double check this. Um, I'm, I'll pause if I can't find it in two seconds here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I think it's just Nappa and Harutagarn is all that's left. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. They didn't update and put Harutagarn in here, but I believe Harutagarn is number 39 after uh, Android 21. Okay. So, yeah, uh, just Nappa, and then the last one will be Harutagarn during the uh, Dragon Fist and Harutagarn celebration, which will be at the start of April for Global Dokkan, right? So Global will have two dual Dokkan Fests in April. Uh, here is the Nappa chain battle, right? So there's that one right there. Okay. Uh, actually, let don't, why don't I pull up here? Hold on. All right, guys, here we go. Here's just one of the higher scores, uh, it, you know, in this video, 133 chain battle videos, man. I'm insane. All right. So here we go. So it's just like Vegeta's and Kaioken Goku suit. I haven't, we had like three chain battles using these exact characters. We've seen this a thousand times before, right? Okay, so there we go. So those are the characters you're going to want to use for the chain battle. Um, I do actually like this LR Vegeta and Nappa. I think that, you know, as a villain, villains are in a rough spot right now, of course. I mean, you know, there's kind of like a power level, like power, like meta shift. And things get tougher. And, you know, villains just don't have the options that heroes do. Don't have the top level options that heroes do. Uh, but I like what this character would bring to the table, but they just need a team is going to be their issue. You know, but, you know, turn three, Nappa has guaranteed dodge. Uh, then you could transform into Vegeta. Vegeta will be guarding guaranteed for a couple of turns. Vegeta can get pretty big stats against super class enemies, which now Supreme Battle Spectacle bosses are a thing. So that Vegeta and Nappa, they're not terrible. 
Um, <clears throat> I think that they're an okay character with, with some, some things that could be good. LR Kid Gohan ZZ is going to be coming. He's just fodder, unfortunately. Not really anything great there. Uh, new stage to the Support Memory Boost event. Um, then just a bunch of returning events, I believe. Nothing really too crazy about a lot of these. Uh, okay, cool. Here we go. Um, guys, uh, Minato just made a tweet about this. Let me pull this up. All right, here we go. So uh, w what they're doing is they're taking a lot of these old, easy areas and they're resetting them the missions you still get credit for. So you're going to get a bunch of stones and a bunch of rewards when this happens. I know a lot of you guys do not have some of these easy areas done, man. Uh, if you get them done, you'll be able to double dip and get rewards twice. So, I, I mean, I would encourage you guys to get this done. Uh, I don't know when this is... Does this say? <clears throat> um... The following EZA areas will be integrated into the EZA area movie edition. Uh, I, I guess it's going to be sometime after this, right? Uh, because th they're doing this. This is for Dragon Fist and Naruto Garn, which will be in April for Global. Please, guys, do this EZA area. Do this one. Don't worry about the freeze one. And do this one right here. Because you'll be able to get the rewards twice when they reset the event. So, definitely a W to me. I, actually, I got to throw... Yeah, let's throw a... Uh-oh, bruh. That's like, you can't even scroll down. Okay, okay. You can't even scroll down on Twitter. On video? On recording? <laughs> Scrolling on Twitter? That's crazy. No way. <clears throat> no way, no way. All right, let's see what else we got here. Um, And then the freeze event is just up. Whatever. Okay, so then we have this growth campaign here. So, new missions have been added. Uh, just clear stages and stuff like that. Get a bunch of keys and stuff. That's not bad. I mean, you could use the, uh, it's the blue keys, right? Which is the growth one to maybe do some extra runs on potential orb events if you need it or something. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just some extra stuff added. So there we go. The celebration is not the craziest, but I mean, this is kind of like one of the, remember there's slow periods and then there's hype periods throughout the year. It's like this in Dokkan. It's like this in Legends. It's, you know, it's always going to be like this, right? Like, when you have a game that's constantly getting updated, it's not going to be, you know, anniversary level hype every single week. Um, so, like, this is a point to just chill for global. Um, and then, you know, some fire stuff is going to be coming sooner rather than later. One thing <clears throat> I do think that will be coming to global within the next two and a half weeks before Saiyan Day. I do think Broly will get the, er, global, excuse me, will get the LR for Broly and Trunks before Saiyan Day on March 18th. So I think LR, Broly, and Trunks will get their LR Awakening sometime within the next two and a half weeks, which isn't in the Celebration Info. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. It's probably going to be with Vegeta and Nappa when they get their data download. Broly and Trunks will probably be in that as well. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.